This program contains adult language and situations which may be considered offensive to some viewers and or children, but more likely their parents. Uh, pick up, please. What can I get for you? Can I get um, a large uh, double cheese pizza, please? Okay. And ten breadsticks. Okay. All right. Who is it for? Uh, Mike. Okay. Give us about a half hour. All right. Thanks. Okay. Bye. There we go. Ordering a pie. <laughs> okay, people. Go pick that pick that pie up. Okay. Yeah, go pick that pie up soon. Oh, I missed my coin jar. So this is just a video I'm gonna make because I'm bored. And I gotta wait for my pie to be made. So um where is it? Where's where's my where's my props for today? I don't want I don't want you kitties seeing my props that I have. So uh, I got some vinyl records uh, today or not today this last week. I got. You ready for this one? I got the Kane uh, uh, vinyl record. Uh, it's a good record. And I always love when bands, especially local bands, include the lyrics in. in their uh, thing, because I like to read along. I like to read along while I'm uh, listening. And this is, this is a, a, a high quality uh, record, vinyl on Vinley. And great band, great album from Kane, Buffalo Thrash Metal, right there. Moving on, I also got this from, from Kane for free for buying their album. I got this. Um, it's, it's a 7-inch, and uh, it's, a, it's a split 7-inch. Uh, record, so it's so it's like a it's like a cute little record here, and uh, it it's a uh, it's a split uh, seven inch, and the other band on here is I'm not and I'm not really familiar with them. I'm not sure if they're local or not, um, but the name of the band is called. Uh, maximum, maximum over Satan. Okay, like maximum overdrive. The band is the the other band. It's Kane and Maximum Over Satan. Okay, and I didn't know what this was at first. It looked like it said Contaminated Zones on the back here. 
but it actually says contaminated tones. That, that's what that's what you get. That's what you get when when you write in that that black metal death metal font. You can't read it. So um, I thought it was a band. No, it's actually it's actually who made this record. Uh, it's actually the um, the people that made they actually produced this record. It was called Contaminated Tones. Now, yesterday, uh, it's this is in metal, but I I picked this up because uh, because it looked funny. Okay, I will admit it looked fucking funny. And here we are. We have this. And I haven't listened to it yet, but it's, what, what is it? <coughs> it just looked fucking hilarious. Primus and the Chocolate Factory with the Fungi Ensemble. And this... Yeah, this this is supposed to be a rock opera that that the band Primus put out, and it's supposed to uh, follow the story of Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory. And I uh, I'm looking at the titles on this thing and uh, the song titles, and it does seem to. Um, it seems to follow the story pretty well. Um, Hello Wonkites, Candyman, Cheer Up Charlie, Golden Ticket, Lermaninoff, Pure Imagination, Oompa Augustus Semi Wondrous Boat Ride Oompa Violet I Want It Now Oompa Veruca Wonk Mobile Oompa TV and Farewell Wonkites. And this this was dedicated to Gene Wilder. And look what it comes on. Look at the vine look at the Vinley that it comes on. It's look at it. It's it's shit brown vinyl. There's a little scutsies on it, but whatever. Look it's it's shit brown vinyl. So it's shit brown Vinley. And there's an interesting story surrounding the band Primus with me. Um, when, when me and Barf used to hang out, she would go on my computer and and she would find this uh this this fucking I don't know, it was like a concert. It was like the uh uh, what do you call it? Um, like, it, I, I forget what it was. It was like Letterman or something. It was one of those late night shows. And they had Primus on this uh, show. And they played that, that song, uh, Mrs. Blaylene or whatever. And there's a part where, uh, where, where Les Claypool's playing the bass, and he's playing real good because he's like one of the best bass players that ever lived. I don't really believe that, but uh, I I think it's more just that, that they accentuate his bass a little bit more. But it's like, it, I could probably do it myself if, um, you know, if I just turn the bass up real, real loud on my on my videos and just play bass. I mean, I, I don't think he's like the best best. I don't I don't know who is, but I just think that they more or less accentuate his bass playing.
But there's a part in, in that uh, in that uh, video that she was that she she, she like that she, she she acts like a mental patient over. He's playing the bass, you know, it's like do 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 or whatever. And then there's a part where 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 the music goes silent, and then you just hear him go. Uh, and and, the, and this act that he's like that he, I don't. He's doing like a what do you, I forget what they call it when. When you're playing, and then you hold down the strings and go like that. He was doing something like this. This isn't a bass, though. So he was, he was going, and then you just go like it's a slide. Okay, it's a friggin' slide. That's what it is. It's a slide. But that's what it is. It's... He slid his hand up the bass. And somehow she thought he was, like, jerking off the bass or something. And... And she said that this act like this, he was like jerking off the bass. I don't know. But, um, so, I, I don't know. I think that's pretty fucking funny. That, that this, that this girl always has the sex on the mind. And, uh, what else? Um, okay, I'll, I'll play some, I'll play some guitar later. Guitar and pizza always go well with me. So, here's what else I got. Um, I found, I actually found this in the trash. And it's, uh, it's, and yeah, it's all intact, too. Um, I don't like these Call of Duty games. But people love them, and I have it. I have the I have the game right here. It's uh, it's Call of Duty World at War for the Nintendo three. Not, not, it's not even the 3DS. It's the Nintendo DS. <clears throat> and uh, as far as Call of Duty games go, I kind of like this one. I, I played it before <coughs> on um, PS3. I mean, I I, I actually kind of like this one, World at War. It's like World War Two. So um, that and uh, I picked this. I picked some of this up at, at uh, uh, where was it? I think Tops. It was some more uh, super super. Golly. Speaking of Galu, um, something weird happened. Um, not weird, but it's expected because it's family. And uh, something happened that I'm kind of mad about. Now. My uncle, not my rich uncle, but my drunk uncle, drunkle, we all disowned him because, first of all, he, he got out of control one time, and he threatened to call the police on everybody, so he just kind of, like, left them alone. And then he started, he, said, he, tried, to, he tried to message me on Facebook. Uh, the other day. Well, it wasn't the other day. It was like a month ago or something, and I just seen it. Because you know how Facebook is. But he, 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 he was trying to 
He's trying to get my good graces again. He, he called, tried to call the police on me because I, I said, I, I said, he was going nutty, okay, pretty much, because he was going nuts because he, um, oh, it was because of my, my, uh, my mom, my mom's aunt. We were having this, this surprise party for my, my mom's aunt's, like, 70th birthday or something at Chef's. And, uh, Chef's Restaurant, yeah, that's where all the, uh, that's where all the, like, Sabres people go. It's a good Italian place. Uh, so we had this, um, we had this party for her. It was a surprise party. And, uh, it was put, put, it was put on by the King of the Cops and all that. And, um, my, my, my uncle, my drunkle over there he's uh he's flipping out on my mom because my mom my mom says that uh he's flipping out on my mom because my uh, you know my uncle wants to bring his girlfriend uh with um to this party and um and my mom pretty much said uh no like don't don't bring her because the part the party's only for um you know family and whatnot and he was going nuts and he wanted he wanted to like he wanted to like kill my mom and everything and it, it, it in a way I do stick up for my mom in that respect because it was I thought the whole thing was stupid I mean. If I were to, if I were to ask, uh, if my girlfriend, I don't have a girlfriend, but if I did, and they said, no, it's only family, then, you know, I wouldn't even argue, I'd be like, okay, whatever. But he was going absolutely ape shit because he couldn't, he couldn't bring his girlfriend with him. And to be honest, I think that my uncle should have at least... Uh, I think he should have asked the king of the cops instead of my mom about it uh, because, you know, he was the one setting the thing up. So he's pretty much in charge. And, uh, but I, I just think that the whole thing was kind of stupid. And he he was just flipping the fuck out like, I'm disowning this family, and you know I'm gonna call the police on 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 your mother, and it's like, I and I said I was trying to like level with him, and I was trying to say like, listen, because this the man's a born again Christian, okay, and I said, listen, do you think Jesus would approve of this behavior? We're disowning family because because you you can't bring your 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 fucking girlfriend to to an event that's for family do you think Jesus would actually approve of this I, I and I also say, I said you know what I think you need to talk to one of these church people that you go to and ask for their advice and he got mad at me for that and threatened to call the police on me for that. So I stopped talking to him. Now, he tried to contact me about a month or so ago. And I just found it a, like a couple days ago. And the thing is, is that it was weird because... First uh, off the bat, he's saying, uh, Are you allowed to talk to me? Or is your mother and your rich uncle telling you not to. And I, I'm just looking at this and I'm saying, okay, first off, I don't follow what my rich uncle does, okay? I don't, I don't like him and I just don't, I, I don't follow him. So they're not, they're not in control of me or whatever. And that's what I told him. And 
I said, second, I'm I'm still pissed off because you co- tried to you 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 threatened the police on me for what? First of all, he he he. At first, he denied that he said that, and he was asking he was asking me what what did I call the what did I threaten the, you know, the police over? And I'm just like, uh, you threatened the police on me because I said that you should. You should ask one of your church people what they think about this whole thing that about how you can't be at this party and how you're gonna be you're gonna disown the family because of uh because you can't bring the girlfriend with you you know I think you need because he was invite he was invited up until you know he flipped out because he couldn't bring his girlfriend to the thing. And I thought that was kind of stupid. Um, I mean, I don't know, but I just feel that he 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 did something really stupid. And I just I just pretty much said, listen, hey, listen. I just said, hey, listen, you know, at, why don't you go talk to one of your church people? Before? And he got mad at me about it because I because I attacked his his beliefs somehow. And I'm I'm just like, what? I I I'm attacking his beliefs by by suggesting that he ask advice from his church. Somehow I was attacking his beliefs, so. I'm just like, okay, fuck it. I'm not. He's like calling up my dad, and he's like yelling at my dad about all this, and it's like, what is it? I I just I I didn't want to get involved, so I stopped talking to him too. And so somehow he forgot about all that. And he's asking me, can you refresh my memory? And I said, okay, so I do. And he said something really weird. And at first, at first I, I felt, okay, maybe, maybe, because he's, he's drunk, you know. So I'll give him the benefit of the doubt. And I'll say, okay, maybe he was just blackout drunk when he said that. And he doesn't remember much. And, uh. But, you know, I was talking to him a little bit, and this is what he actually said. Uh, and it really pissed me off, because, first of all, it's a complete fucking lie. And second of all, you just don't say something like he did. First off, this is what he said to me. He's like, okay, well, what was it? What was he say? He said, Okay, well, I'll talk to the people at the bars uh, and let you back in. I'm like, what the fuck are you talking about? He's like, well, he suggests, he didn't really suggest, he flat out said it after this. He says, well, you know how you've been banned from these bars and everything? Uh, Well... You're mad at the wrong person. It's not Clint that got you banned. It was me. Because I didn't want you attacking my beliefs. And first of all... First of all... I thought it was kind of... I I thought it was fucking stupid that he said something like that. Simply because... I know it's a lie. I know that what he's doing is lying. Okay? And... The, the, just the idea of him... Trying to go behind my back and... It... It, it, it really was kind of like... Like, you just don't say something like that, you know? You don't say, well, I was behind it all. But, it, you know, I'll, I'll make it better. And that just really fucking pissed me off. And I just blocked him after that. <clears throat> so.
So, so I don't know what's going on with him. I'm getting like all these fruit flies too. I don't know where the frig they're coming from. It's not like I have food out in the open. It just, I don't know. Probably because I smell like shit. But I don't know. I gotta go pick up my pizza. So. Uh, so, yeah. Um, that said, and. Yeah, so. I'll let this go for now. Because. Uh, I gotta go pick up my pie.